I got a milk frother, so I've been very into making almond milk lattes these days. Almost done with this book. Probably will finish it up today. Okay, one thing I really like about this book as I'm finishing it up is it goes over like kind of the downsides to habits and how it can lock you in and make you a little too rigid. A lot of books don't do that. They go like, oh, do this thing. Like, I did not expect them to kind of show pros and cons, but I feel like that adds more credibility to it. I'll do more of a review later on, but I think a cool thing about this book is it encourages you, it, it encourages you to smart, it, it encourages you to start small. So say you want to make it, say you want to run a marathon, it says to run for just like two minutes a day and make that your habit, build the habit, and then start making it harder. But you need to focus on building that actual habit first. Time to edit yesterday's vlog. I've kind of just been enjoying doing this first thing in the morning. I'm gonna try out these elbow pads. So hopefully I don't have any pain while I edit. Multitasking a little bit. I finally got the email that I have my test results. I don't know why I'm like nervous or something, <laughs> but I'm about to find out if I had the illness or not. My heart is like pounding. Sign it. Okay. Negative. Good, good. I figured, I figured. Um, wow, that's good to know for sure. It took a while to get these results back. I got the test last Monday and now it's Wednesday. So it's been a full like nine days. My roommate Lauren got hers back exactly five days later. I think so many people are getting it done right now that they're probably just a little bit, I don't know, I'm sure it's confusing. Yeah, negative. Okay, I finally got this stuff on my Poshmark. I just had to make a new account, so. This is the new account, Shelby Church 25. Uh, now that it's all listed like this, I'm like, ooh, I kind of want to keep some of this stuff. A lot of it's really cute. I just noticed I don't, for whatever reason, wear some of it anymore. Like, just finished working out. Today was totally one of those days where I wanted to quit halfway through, but I don't know. I just, but I still made it. I bought some spinach the other day, specifically for my smoothies. I'm not a big fan of the way that spinach tastes, but you can't taste it at all when it's in a smoothie. Put a little too much spinach in this one. It doesn't taste as good, but at least it's healthy. Listening to a podcast. And wow, the stock market is down quite a bit. So Monica and I have recorded our first episode of the podcast twice now and I was editing it the other day and I still felt that it wasn't as good as it could be. So we're going to do a final recording today. This will be the last one unless for some reason this one is not great. The other ones weren't terrible. I just felt that I was saying the words like and whatever and all these filler words. I quit saying those words. I officially quit. I'm not even going to say I'm going to try to stop. I'm seriously done with them. <laughs> Vlogging has made me so aware of how much I say like and how unintelligent it sounds. Oh my gosh. It bothers me when I'm editing. I've started to correct myself. Somebody commented that I say whatever a lot too and it makes me sound unsure of myself and that is so true and it's just a habit. So I am not saying those words anymore. I welcome you to join me on this journey <laughs> because I know a lot of people overuse the word like. What you can say instead is I feel that, such as, similar to. There's a lot of words you can use in place of like or you can simply pause. So that is my main goal for this week, honestly. Woo, we got the first Poshmark sale. I almost need someone to just follow me around and correct me every time I say the word like. But for now, you guys can help me with that. So convenient. If you guys didn't know that you can schedule a USPS pickup. So I have my Poshmark order ready to go. Me and Monica are just about started. So we're 
redoing with a new structure this time. I'm using this weird little mic stand that scratched up my desk, recording video of it. We're ready. When you're in the thick of it, it feels like no one else is going through one. Monica has really documented hers on her vlog channel quite a bit already. I would say it very first started when we decided, both of us, to not do the traditional route of going to college. It felt weird and risky and scary to not follow that path. So at that time, I thought, I've had a good run. Maybe I'm done with this. Maybe I should go back to school. But at the time, I didn't really know what to do. So going into making a podcast, I thought it'd be like, oh, one hour a week commitment to record. And then like, you know, maybe an hour to edit it. And we just recorded for two hours. And I know it will take me a little while to edit it. How do you feel about that episode? I feel better about that one. I feel pretty good about it. Like, I mean, I think it went well. Yeah. I think it was a lot better. We didn't go off on as many tangents oh, and I stopped Oliver saying like, like <gasps> oh, you see that? is so he laying sad. like that? Yeah. Oh, I'll go over to him. I'm going to. Taking a little editing break because my elbows, you guys, oh, my elbows hurt. And I think I just got something in the mail to help that actually. Okay, here is the chair. Let's see how it feels. Okay, I mean, so it can go up and down. I got this on Amazon. What I was really looking for was armrests. I like that these are padded. They're like comfy. I still think this chair was cuter, but it's definitely not an office chair. It's more of like a dining room chair. It's kind of huge. It doesn't really fit super well into here. I do feel like I'm at a proper height now. I think the problem might be the desk, honestly. The desk is just like a little too high. What? <laughs> Honestly, not super stoked on this chair. Don't think I would recommend. I was hesitant to buy an office chair just for the reason of not being able to see them in person. I didn't spend a lot of money on this, but um, but I don't think it really solved the problem I have. It could still be good in an office though, so. I'm making a version of that Gordon Ramsay Chicken Supreme tonight, pretty excited. Putting some salt on the chicken. It takes the moisture out of the chicken and it just makes it better. So, to roast the vegetables, you add some herbs. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab these guys. Looking good there. Then you just put the chicken in the oven. Cooks much better this way for 10 minutes. And now we just wait. Oh, it smells so good in here. Oh, it looks kind of dry. Okay, now we're adding this. These are probably about done. Here we have it. It looks different than that first time I made it. I definitely forgot something. I just FaceTimed some friends for a couple hours and um, I got hungry again. <laughs> so I made an omelet. Um, that chicken was very, very thin. I didn't really actually have that. I feel like I didn't have like a full dinner. So this omelet looks amazing though. I like to put cilantro, onions, tomatoes, oh, some jalapeno in there. Also pretty good if you make it this style. Squeeze a little lime on there. Very good. 
I am almost out of memory. I'm gonna end this vlog now. I will see you guys tomorrow.